Minesweeper is truly one of the most legendary computer games ever. I had a video on this channel a while ago about writing a Python program that would play the Minesweeper game, reaching 36 success rate on Expert, which is a few percentage points short of the world record, but otherwise a pretty decent attempt. Today, however, I want to tell you about a small Python side project related to Minesweeper, calculating tiles chances. Let me give you a bit of a background. If you follow Minesweeper subreddit, you would probably notice there's a kind of a challenge, kind of a game going on with a goal of spotting the 8. 8 in a Minesweeper game is a lucky charm, kind of a unicorn, a coveted artifact, a yeti and nessie in the form of a simple single digit number. To be honest, I don't think I personally encountered one at least until I started using Python to do the heavy lifting for me. So, the main question of this video is, what exactly is the chance of seeing the 8? And what is the rarest thing to see in Minesweeper overall? What we can do is to use Python to generate some significant amount of boards, say a million, and see how often we have 8 in those. And this is going to be the answer. The programming here is rather straightforward, yet the results are quite interesting. This is what I found for the expert board size. As you might have expected, the higher the number is, the lower the chance of getting it, with 8s present in only 0.08% of games. One in about 1200 games. And mind you, in those games you're going to have to solve most of the board and find that 8 on the board too, and not just die after a few clicks. Interestingly, with the chance of 1 in 1200, this is not the rarest thing. The chance of encountering 8 in an intermediate game is actually much lower, 0.003%, uh, that is 1 in 30,000 games. So if you spend, say, 7 seconds per game, which is around what the current world record is, you're gonna need 3 days of uninterrupted playing with this barely human speed to encounter an 8. Now, if you want to check out real unicorns, it's the beginner board you need to be looking at. First, there's a rare, curious one. Here, the chance of getting 2 in the beginner game is 99.998, meaning that getting a beginner game without 2s is even less likely than finding 8 in an intermediate game. And now for the crown jewel. Beginner game with 8 in it. Can you imagine that? This is how rare it is. After generating a million boards, there were not a single one with 8 in it. I had to crank it up to a few millions to actually start seeing those 8s. In the biggest simulation, where I generated 100 million boards, there were 40 boards with 8s in them. I also calculated the theoretical chance. This is how I did it, and I just watched the very first lecture in Statistics 101, so let me flex a little here. There are 36 ways a circle of mines can appear on a field. There are 55 choose 2 ways the remaining two mines can appear anywhere else on the field, except the eye, the middle of the circle. And finally, there are 64 choose 10 total possible ways of putting 10 mines on an 8x8 board. Calculating it all gives you 0.00004% or 1 in 2.8 million chance of having 8 in the beginner game, which matches nicely the results I got in the simulation. To give you a perspective, if you spend as long as 1 second per game playing 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, you're gonna spend 5 months on average to encounter an 8. This is it. The source code with this experiment is in the description. Hope you like this video. Be sure to subscribe for more. You can also check out my video about programming the Minesweeper solver. Good luck playing the Minesweeper. Bye.